Why are there not more people talking about the doctor who outsmarted da Vinci? By three centuries. Let's meet the medieval genius you've probably never heard of, Ibn al-Nafis. Before we dive in, here's a question for you. If you discovered a scientific truth that went against everything the world believed, would you have the courage to share it? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Forget da Vinci, this is the real medical maverick. Get ready for Ibn al-Nafis. Born in 1213 near Damascus, Ibn al-Nafis wasn't just any medieval doctor. He was a medical detective with a nose for truth. At a time when people thought blood just sloshed around in the body, Ibn al-Nafis peered closer and saw what others missed. He boldly challenged Galen, the ancient authority, saying, hang on mate, that's not how blood works. Ibn al-Nafis discovered that blood travels from the right side of the heart to the lungs, where it gets fresh air, before heading left. This was groundbreaking. He figured out the pulmonary circulation of blood, almost 300 years before Europeans caught on. And he didn't stop there. Ibn al-Nafis wrote books that became medical encyclopedias used for centuries in the East and West. His wit, sharp as a scalpel, he once said, I prefer searching for the truth by my own reasoning, even if it goes against the ancients. His work vanished into dusty libraries, but was rediscovered in the 20th century, stunning historians worldwide. So next time someone mentions da Vinci, remember, Ibn al-Nafis got there first and did it with style. He's proof that history's greatest minds aren't always the loudest. Hats off to the unsung genius of medieval medicine. Thank you for watching. If you found this video inspiring, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next lesson from the Lions of Islam.